Don't buy a house. Don't buy a house. Don't buy a house unless you are ready to do repairs <laughs> or you are ready to spend a bag to do work on your house and what i mean by spending a bag i mean spending a bag opening up your checkbook if you're not old enough to know what a checkbook is opening up your bank account to give to the repairman all right you guys with that being said, welcome to Always Occupied Home and Product Reviews. And in this review, we are going to go over this Fluid Master Fill Valve. We have here the fill valve. We have a flapper that comes with it. And this is a Fluid Master. It says it's universal. So we are praying that it works. And if not, we will figure it out because guess what? We are DIYers, we do it ourselves. We try to save a little bit of money because we are Mr. Scrooge and Mrs. Scrooge over here. Now, with that being said, the issue that I'm having with my fill valve is the water is not filling up the tank. So I will turn it on so y'all can hear what it sounds like. Maybe you might have the same issue. So we are following along. Now, I got this from walmart but i'm pretty sure you could get this from any hardware store oh uh, whoa hardware store no any home improvement store hardware home improvement whatever look for this okay if you have a problem with your fill valve if you have a problem with your flap um and stuff like that so with that being said we are going to go ahead and get into it you have your three inch flap right here you have your chain and i will show you how to hook all this stuff up just in case you don't know all right we have our fill valve right here tube right here and i know what this tube is for this tube is for your water they have one on here already i don't know if i'm gonna use the same one or use a new one but all you do is just put it through here most important part is the instructions now i'm not sure if they have this on amazon you guys but if i find it i will post the link more than likely if it's an emergency you can just hop to walmart real quick that's where i got this from i went to walmart and shot over there but this is not really an emergency but you know the water will sound like it's keep you know the water sounds like it's running 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 and it's it's irritating so Right now, I just shut my water off. So we have basically our list of things that's supposed to come in here. They call this a refill clip. Tools needed is a bucket, sponge, towel, and scissors. Um, I think you will need at least a wrench. The bowl water level dial. So that's what this is. The bowl water level dial is right here. You have tank level adjustment, fill tube. Uh, you guys, this is a float, just in case you don't know. Um, it's not really saying it on here. The water level gets up to where it needs to be. It will stop. It won't fill up your tank no more. The flapper actually releases the water from your tank so you can flush your toilet. Yeah, this is easy, you guys. This is easy, you guys. You know, you will probably pay somebody like a hundred and something dollars to replace this. Um, at this time, you know, or this day and age or whatever we in right now, uh, a plumber might actually charge you a lot of money to do repairs on your toilet. And to be honest, a toilet is like a hundred bucks at, uh, I was at Sam's club the other day. A toilet is a hundred dollars. I was at Lowe's. A toilet is a hundred dollars. Home Depot have a toilet for a hundred dollars. A Glacier Bay, uh, Lowe's has the pro project source, um, and, uh, I believe Sam's Club has a memo mark. So all this is blah, blah, blah. I'm supposed to be showing you this. All right, you guys. So what I'm going to do is turn on the water real quick so y'all know what I'm talking about. So it looks like I got the water on, but it's not filling up. So you hear that? nothing it's filling up but it, it's it's weird all right you guys before you start on any water job in your house turn your water off all right this one is self-explanatory now when you take your fill valve off 
you see we have water in our tank right so we need to release that water so what you do is hit your lever and this is how the flap works you see the chain it will lift it up all right we try to release as much water as we can but it's not all going to release because the flap is actually um the flap base is higher than the tank so there will always be a little bit of water left in there all right so with that being said we got we have our water off we emptied the tank or uh, well partially emptied the tank and we are going to go ahead and get ourselves a mini bucket because that's what it says you get a mini bucket and then we're going to take our water um a water line off when we take this water line off we need to take the screw off from the old uh valve so let's go ahead and get that done <laughs> All right, make sure you have your bucket right there. <laughs> Be a little bit of water, not too much yet. And this is where we have to take the nut off of the fill valve. Now, what you wanna do is grab your bucket and when you lift up on your fill valve, stay like this we're gonna hold it because we have nothing else to hold our bucket and I don't want to wet up my drywall like crazy all right you guys so it's time to change this fill valve and what we're gonna do is take this hose off right here because that's the only thing that's attached to here and we are gonna lift up and that's it here goes your fill valve you guys the broken fill valve is out and now we are going to you see how they got this uh like rubber gasket stuff right there i could either scrape that stuff off and then use this gasket or i can take the gasket off and try to just uh wing it out with that black a gasket maker here which is I mean it's nothing wrong with it let me see and I know this is kind of gross to some oh, oh, oh. a lot of water a lot of water well most of the water left the tank now all right so here you go this is a gasket you guys I know it may seem gross but this is a gasket right here we are going to go ahead and put this down and boom, we are in. All right, you guys, so this is going, I might change, should I change this? All right, so we have that one off. So we took out the old tube right here. We have the new tube, so let's see. Oh, if it's in better. All right, let's go ahead, slide this on. I'm trying to go as far as possible. Matter of fact, I'm gonna take it out of here and I'm going to go in here first. You know what? It might be better to use Vaseline. <laughs> All right, you guys, so I used some Vaseline and I got the holes all the way in there so we are looking good so that's in there that's in there all right now do i want to change this do i need to change it do you need to know how to change it all right you guys so we are going to change out our flap now with the flap right here so with this tube you can adjust right here to see the greatness of your flush all right 
So basically you have this all the way open and this right here is, I believe it says zero, all right? And it's counting. Now I know you can't see it. The action camera really don't show you the numbers too well, but you got zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have the settings and everything in the instructions. I will post it right there for you. So basically what it says on here, as far as Glacier Bay, it says Glacier Bay two piece high efficiency setting three. So we are going to leave it on setting three since we have a Glacier Bay. All right. So setting three, that is the opening for this. And yeah, I know to some people this can get kind of nasty, right? Uh, because to adjust it, you will have to go back in your bowl to make the adjustment. So welcome to a plumber's life. All right. So let's go ahead and take this off. All right. So we took the chain off of here. You got to take the chain off. It's like a little loop right there. And then when you take that off, it should, yes, it should lift up. All right, you guys, let me make sure I'm not delusional here. Yeah, it just lifts. It got to pop up. There we go. I got one side up and sorry if I'm in your way. Let me see. I'm not trying to break it either. There we go. Got it up. All right. So there you go. Now on here, it don't look like you can make an adjustment. The flush is the flush that you get with the Glacier Bay when you first get it. So hopefully this will make it flush a little bit better right and then you gotta put it on right here bow bow nice and easy all right and then you want to put your ring on i know it's a curse that i have that i have to do this i don't know why i just have this curse i'm always occupied that's in and that's in now let's see the lift all right that lift is better I like that. That's a better lift. And that's tight. I'm gonna put our water line back on. That's tight. That's tight, you guys. Now, everything should be good. What I'm going to do is turn the water on. All right, I have my valve all the way open, you guys. It's so quiet now. It's filling up good. I think that's a piece of the gasket that was left on that old one. And right now we don't have no leaks right now. About to start cleaning, but I'm gonna show y'all this. You have another adjustment here. This is for your float. I'm gonna leave everything alone right now. I'm going to see where it's going to stop. You'll see the float go up. And it's done. Oh, wow. It flushes better. It flushes way better, you guys. Oh, yeah. We fixed the toilet. We fixed the toilet. All right. I'm happy now. Woo! This is a long day's work. Let me clean up and wrap up this review. All right, you guys. So right here, I didn't really get on this too much. But this is your fill level. So how much water do you want in your tank? So you can actually lift this. If you turn this this way, it will add more water. So you see how it kicked on? It adds more water to the tank. If you have more water to the tank, it's more flushes that you can uh, basically do. Over here is your bowl fill level. So you can actually adjust the amount of water that goes in your bowl. So if your bowl, uh, I know some people asked this before but if your bowl have just a little amount of water you can adjust this and it should add more water to your bowl so let's see so yep it's definitely adding more water to the bowl lastly i just want to go over this clip so this clip is basically for your water line right there but me I already have like a stationary clip right here that was already there so what you need to do is put this clip on here if you didn't have one in the middle and then put your holes on there it's kind of hard to do it there but definitely it'll fit right here with y'all one hand so 
All right, so you have to put your clip there and then your water line go in there and then the water will shoot down. So yeah, that's it, you guys. If y'all have any other questions, comments, concerns, put it in the comment section. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Like, comment, share, and have fun when you buy a house. Subscribe.